It's so good to welcome onto Into the Fire, the agile midfielder with great skills and that rare ability to go forward and impact the scoreboard, Sturt's young gun and league debutant this year, Nick Sadler. Hey, Nick. G'day, LJ. Thanks for having me. Oh, all good to have you, mate. So, Nick, I have a lot of info on you in the last few years, but I was wondering what the young Nick Sadler was like. Were you always a gun and where did you grow up? Um, so, um, I've, uh, so I grew up um, playing at Unley Jets um, for a bit. Uh, so I probably there up until I think under 12s. Um, then moved to Glenunga, um, had a few more mates uh, from school and that I've met around. Um, so I moved there, uh, really enjoyed my footy there. Um, and then yeah, played school footy a bit for Pembroke. So, um, and then yeah, worked um, through the Sturt Juniors and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. my um, junior, junior stuff. Now, you've been a gun for many years and made it pretty early into the eyes of those who matter. Being selected in the under-17 future game where you were such a headache for your opponents, I was told many asked for Panadol at halftime. Having so many possessions, feeding your teammates on a platter and snaring two goals, great game, wasn't it? Must have been nice to showcase those skills, buddy. Oh, thanks, OJ. Um, uh, it was just a great experience um, playing out in that oval um, with all my mates. and. Um, yeah, it was nice. We, I think our team got the win, um, which is always good. But, I mean, it was just, yeah, a great experience yeah. to play out on such a great um, oval. Um, and, yeah, really enjoyed that uh, that game. So, yeah. You had a couple snags that game, didn't you? Um, oh, I think I might have, uh, yeah, maybe keep a couple. But, um, yeah, no, as I said, yeah, really good experience playing out on that oval. So, yeah, it was great fun. Yeah, definitely. Now, I want you to think back to this game and talk about the last play. I don't want to spoil it for our viewers, but you may have won the game. It went something like this. Sadler bursts away from the centre, leaving his opponent standing in the cement. He takes a bounce, steadies, and as, he, as if he doesn't feel pressure, slots a beauty from 50, winning the game for his team and standing himself as a future champion. How was that for re reliving it? Um. Yeah, I mean... I guess it was a bit of luck. Um, I, I think Harry Barnett um, was the one who yeah, tapped it um, really nicely out in front of me um, and then just had a bit of space. Um, probably could have kicked it off um, and uh, let someone take the goal, but um, I was lucky. I only just made it, I think. Um, I think it was Kyle Marshall or someone was on the line, um, just about touched it. So, uh, no, it was cool. It was a cool experience, but, um, yeah, I've got to give credit to Harry and um, to the boys, definitely. Yeah, I reckon everyone's had a dream about getting a goal. You've actually got some experience. But I feel like that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, we suppose we do, like, had those um, sort of dreams. But, um, oh, no, I mean, it was like a scratch match sort of thing. So, um, but, yeah, no, still really cool. Yeah. Now, you also played in last year's national championship game against WA. And although your, your lofty standards didn't have a huge day, you must have been happy playing alongside and against the best in your age group. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think we'll think was that uh, the second game we were missing a few, um, like Adam um, and Harry Lemmy and stuff like that. So um, I think we played um, really well. Just um, WA side was a lot stronger. Um, but yeah, as you said, it was a really cool experience playing with um, uh, a few of the state lads, um, and they uh, all performed very well. So um, just a shame we couldn't get that win. Um, but yeah, no, it was a it was a great experience as well. Yeah, you did show some really nice attributes in this game, showing how nice your hands are for a smaller mid, taking great grabs and showing your clean hands. You're very quick as well, aren't you? Add to your speed and awesome ability to score goals. I love what you bring, mate. What are your areas of improvement this year? Um, yeah, so definitely been um, over the preseason working on a few things. Um, I think tackling has been something I've been trying to work on a bit. Um, and as well, my running patterns, saying that recently I've had discussions with a few coaches and stuff like that. Um, it's something that I want to improve upon. Um, and then just skill work and stuff like that, just getting, trying to touch everything up. Um, and yeah, just working on those things, I guess. The basics, I suppose. Yeah, you're always going to have something to improve on, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Now, you also played in the state annual future showcase, where the best under-17 players in the state split into two teams. Team Sloan and Team Walker. You, of course, Team Sloan. You were awesome in this game, weren't you? Come on, don't be humble. I have the, I have the best on ground that says you were. 
that must have been pretty satisfying. That was a great experience. I think that game as well was out in Adelaide Oval. Um, so that's always nice getting out there. Um, I mean, wasn't sure about the best song out, but um, no, I mean, again, like, it's just a, a really good experience um, playing. I think that was a, um, like, the Sloan and Walker. I think that was a Crows Academies game, um, something like that. Oh, but, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, no, it was, a, again, a really cool and uh, fun experience. Yeah, you've played on Adelaide Oval a few times now, haven't you? Yeah, I've been pretty lucky. Um, we've had a few opportunities to play out there, um, which is always nice. So, yeah. Yeah, it's Thank a you. very good ground, isn't it? Oh, the best, I reckon. The best, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the season so far, mate. You played in the under-18s to start off the year. A nice little 22 disposal game. How was the preseason, mate? Did you train with the seniors through it? Because a little birdie tells me you might be Marty Matner's coach's pet. <laughs> um, is that true? Um, no, no, I wouldn't say that's true. Nah, I mean I get along great with Marty. Uh, wouldn't be, uh, would hopefully wouldn't be regarded as his terms as a pet. But um, no, I did train um with the seniors um throughout preseason. Um, and then I think there was a break um between um like we had a bye before round one of the seniors um senior season, so I was able to play under 18s and um. Yeah, it was a it was a great game. We got the win, um, play out in the wing a bit, and um, yeah, it was yeah, it was a good uh, I suppose um, opening start I guess of the year. Yeah, I think I need to check my sources. They seem to be getting it wrong a bit lately. <sighs> oh, do they? Oh, okay. Yeah, they might. No. <laughs> so you debuted in round one in the league team. That is amazing for an under eighteen player to jump jump right in. How nervous were you, and how was the experience? Yeah, I was definitely um, pretty nervous. Um, it's been a dream of mine to play for Sturt. And um, for that to happen, um, yeah, it was a great experience. Um, you know, one that I'll think back um, for a long time. Um, we got the got the win as well. Probably wasn't, um, uh, I guess, the most impactful. Wasn't able to get my hands in the footy as much. Um, but still, it was a great experience playing with the, you know, the likes of uh, Paddy Wilson, uh, James Battersby, you know, those types of players in the sample. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was definitely just yeah, a really cool experience. Yeah, definitely. Although you showed promise, you were then sent to the reserves for a couple of games. What was the reasoning? Not that it's a bad thing, but just wondering what you were told. Oh, uh, yeah. So um, I was uh, put back down, um, yeah, for a couple of games. I think we are going in against Glenelg. Um, yeah, spoke to Marty. We just wanted to switch up a few things, just see how it would go. Um, down at Reza's level um, and, you know, just try and get get more, get more my uh, hands in the ball a bit more, um, stuff like that. And he just wanted to do um, a few team changes. So, um, yeah, definitely, um, you know, I mean, I'd love to have played um, league for those uh, couple games, but I was still very much happy to play with uh, reserves. Um, got a really good standard of footy. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was able to get back up um, for a bit as well. So that was always nice. Yeah. You then rose back up to the league team and played against Port, where you played well again. What was it like coming up against some AFL players? Did you get to line up line up on any of them? Yeah, that was um was a pretty cool experience. Yeah, we had a few COVID um COVID cases, so yeah, I was able to get back up. Um and luckily it was against, you know, Port um and uh, Anzac Day round as well. So that was um really cool experience there. Um I didn't get to play off. Oh, I think I stood on Marty Frederick um, for a little bit, um, but I was out in the wing and I wasn't on uh, Durs, but I think it was the other wing, but I wasn't on his wing. So I wasn't able to get on AFL players, but, um, you know, we definitely still had a few hits uh, on a few of them. So, um, yeah, no, that was definitely a really cool experience, yeah. Yeah, cool to see Dersmer out there as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, and I had... Few really good games up at AFL. Um, I think he's had a few injuries this year, so um, yeah. No, he. I think I remember him tearing up that game as well. So to see that was yeah, really cool. Yeah, didn't pull the bow and arrow on you or anything? <clears throat> no, I didn't. I don't. I think he think he might have done it in the first quarter. I think he kicked the goal and did it. Oh. So um, yeah, no, he didn't do it on me though. So, yeah. <laughs> That's good, mate. Yeah. Now <laughs> you played both as a midfielder and forward. I know with how you manoeuvre out of stoppages, you were made for the midfield. But do you enjoy spending some time up forward, knowing that quite often in the AFL, smaller mids start there? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been something yeah I've been working on over this year. I'm um, working on a bit of Ford craft because um, you know with my size, um, it is something we'd have to think about. Um, but yeah, playing up forward a bit this year. Um, there's a rotation to the midfield. Um, it's always nice. Um, and yeah, just trying to just get it, get my head around. Um, just running patterns up forward, um, leading uh, crumb work as well. So yeah, definitely. Um, it's been beneficial to learn um, the Ford craft. Yeah. Now your senior coach has a pretty high appreciation of what you bring and seems to be mentoring you through your early years. That's great considering he played AFL himself, but he picks the team. <laughs> but what has he been like in your development and in particular through a year leading into the draft? Yeah, yeah, he's been really good. Um, had a lot to through them over the preseason. Um, he's, you know, taught me a lot of things. Um, definitely about my running patterns. It's something we've been speaking about a bit recently. Um, just trying to get my hands on the ball as much as I can. Um, and yeah, he's definitely been very beneficial. And obviously being a, a dual uh, premiership uh, coach um, is something, you know, you've got to respect. And he's just a really, really good coach. Um, genius in football, I'd say. Um, knows his stuff. So yeah, to have him um, as as your coach is always, you know, showing that, um, you know, it's just really beneficial. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, really good to have him out. Yeah, it sounds like a legend. Oh, he, w- he will be, yeah, absolutely. Just, uh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. He said, and I quote, he's an outside midfielder, really good kick and has some elite traits. He'll be one to watch. Hopefully he can play some league footy and get drafted. That must be nice to have a guy who's been there and done, done that think of so highly of you do you think about the draft at all or is it too hard to think of it yet um yeah I suppose once you reach your under 18s year it's something that you definitely do think about um and I'm you know it's something that I'm now you know just really trying hard um not to think about because it is so far away um but um yeah it does sit in your back of your head a bit um but you know if the if I was lucky enough to get picked up, you know, it'd be great. But, um, you know, always pretty happy. I'm happy, you know, with Sturt um, and everything there. So, but, yeah, um, obviously it does sit in your back head. But, yeah, trying not too hard. Not hard. Uh, sorry, trying not to think about it too much. Yeah, and I can't imagine how hard it would be not to go on any, the old Google and look it up. And Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, just try and stay away from that, yeah. Yeah. Now, mate, that winning goal on the run was amazing but it lacked one thing, a memorable celebration that people would still be talking about. Never let an opportunity like that slip again. If you're going to be the man, then celebrate like a king. Use the only thing worthy of a goal, winning kick. The best celebration in the business, the end of the fight. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you for for not doing it. I mean, you didn't know it yet, so I can't really say it's your fault, mate. No, no. (laughs) That's true, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, Nick, it's been amazing to talk to you. You're a rising star, and I can't wait to follow your journey this year. Keep kicking goals, champion. Thanks, Liam. Thanks for having me. Good to have you on, buddy. All right, thanks.